About a month ago, I've been looking into so many activities I can do safely, but only within Texas. It's been painfully boring being stuck at home. It's been six months since quarantine and I haven't gone in anywhere aside from home, grocery and work and have been doing the same routine for the past six months. After googling and googling for hours, so many sleepless nights just desperate to do something else, I actually found some wolf sanctuaries videos on YouTube that was recommended and I looked it up online if we have anything that's kind of the same here in Texas and I saw one which is the Texas Project Wolf Dog and Shelter. I honestly didn't even know that we have this in Texas but I have been so fond and curious about wolves and wolf dogs ever since I was a little girl. To a point where I actually have googled and researched about the laws and regulations before getting a wolf dog or a wolf as a pet. Texas Wolf Dog Project and Shelter has been open since 2013 by a couple of people that are experienced with wolf dogs. It is located in the northern part of Texas called Montgomery, nestled in the tall pines just north of Magnolia. This nonprofit organization focused on caring for these wolf dogs that needed rehabilitation and rescue, all from different states, different owners, and some of them might have been seen in the wild. Their mission is not only to rescue these animals, but also to help educate the public about wolf dogs and their different characteristics and distinctions from other dog breeds. Most of the public have a strong misunderstanding about these animals, which leads to misrepresentation, negligence, and in some cases, death of the animal. When we got to the place, you will see this beautiful log cabin. We actually met two of the wolves that just came back from their walk. Hydra, the beautiful snowy gray mixed color, and Blade, the fierce jet black color. I was a little hesitant to touch them at first as I have never seen any wolf dog in person, but both of them were surprisingly very social and friendly. Make sure you watch until the end of this video because I will show you a short clip of the wolf dog that I would have loved to adopt. Now before I get you all hyped up, here are some few things that you must know before you go. Number one, when you get there, all adults must sign a waiver or a release and anyone under the age of 18 must have a parent or legal guardian present to sign on their behalf. Number two, must wear pants and closed shoes. No tank tops or any revealing clothing as well as sandals or slippers. Number three, do not enter an animal enclosure without a lead volunteer present. Number four, as Steve leads you to the wolf dog kennels, he will give you a brief background of these wolf dogs, where they came from, why they're being rescued, their health situation when they first got here at the sanctuary, and other things. Hello, so this is Nayeli. Nayeli. And she's an arm surrender. Whoops, it's down here. From uh, a lady in California. She and her husband mm -hmm. divorced. Oh. He got the house but doesn't want her. Mm -hmm. She's in an apartment and doesn't want to keep her in an apartment. So she had to give her up. Oh. She is a, an upper mid content. Okay. And Lupin mm -hmm. is a low content. He's mostly husky. Mm -hmm. And uh, we rescued him from. Uh, he will also tell you unique things about each one regarding their personalities, such as Domino, who uses growl as his happy noise. <coughs> and Hydra, who used to be jet black two years ago and now evolved to this color. Number five, some of these animals likes to take your stuff. Asher, <coughs> Asher. <coughs> <laughs> that was bad. At one point, we did have to leave our stuff outside the kennels. They have a little compartment there to put our stuff on because Asher, <laughs> Asher, the other wolf dog, likes to get your stuff. However, if an animal does end up getting your stuff, do not try to get those back by yourself. Make sure that you let a lead volunteer know so that they can retrieve their personal items back safely. Number six, 
No running, yelling, or screaming, because it might startle the wolf dogs. Number seven. Also, you'll notice that we are not wearing masks. We did wear them at first, but Steve, the wolf dad, gave us a heads up that he might freak out the wolf dogs. Therefore, we had to take it off. I was not too worried because I actually booked this event at a private appointment so that we don't have to mix with other people. So that was not a big deal for me. Number eight. Some of these dogs might want to sniff you first before they get comfortable. And some, some, some still get scared of people. Remember, these are rescued wolves. They may have gone through some abuse back in their past and is still working on trusting humans again. If they don't approach you, don't force them to interact. Leave them alone. Come on, Samson. <laughs> oh, I just giving you some loving. You gonna come up and meet everybody? You wanna come up and meet everybody? <laughs> Number nine, do not grab their collars if they're wearing any. Don't pull their tails or touch their back because some might be sensitive in those areas. Number 10, standing and looking down at them challenges authority. Make sure you squat down to their level or sit on the floor. On some areas, they also offer benches for you to sit on and wait there till the wolf dogs decide to go near you. According to Steve, these wolf dogs are more social during the winter. On summertime, they tend to hide on the benches or corners to avoid the heat. Given that, visit the sanctuary in a colder month. You can also witness their hair evolving to a fuller and thicker volume for winter, so that's a plus. Number 11. Do not stick your face in their face or hover over and hug them. And last but not the least, they love to give a lot of kisses. In fact, and like I promised, here is a short video of my favorite wolf dog during my visit. This big guy right here is Shiloh. He's from Alabama. He's part wolf and part Malamute. That's why he has a fuller hair compared to the other ones. He is the sweetest. He loves to cuddle and give you kisses. I think he might be the most social wolf dog bear. He is looking for his forever home where he can hang out with his family, watch football on Sundays, and enjoy being an indoor dog. I honestly would have loved to adopt him, but with the kind of work I have where I'm out early in the morning and then I come home like 7 at night, there's just no way that I could take care of him. And also due to the area where I live, it's just not feasible for him. There is a lot of responsibilities that comes with taking care of a wolf dog as well as financial responsibilities, not to mention that they eat about three pounds of raw meat every day. As much as I would have loved to take Shiloh home with me, unfortunately, it's just not the right time and the right place for him. So what I did is I became his sponsor instead and make monthly donations for whatever he needs, food or vaccinations. I just send a few amount of dollars to help him every month. Most of these wolf dogs need their forever home, so I really encourage you guys to visit Texas Wolf Dog Project and Shelter located in Montgomery, Texas. I will put the link in the description below where you can set up an appointment to meet the wolf dogs, to adopt, or even to volunteer. Alright, so I got my bucket list checked. How about you guys? What bucket list are you planning to check off after quarantine or during quarantine? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, that is it for today you guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye!